And welcome to another reaction video. My name is Richard London. Thanks for joining me. We're on the road to 3,000 subscribers, getting very, very close indeed. I'm going to sort my microphone out there. We... Oh, dearie me. It never looks straight, does it? Even when you're looking down at it, it never looks straight. How's that? There we go. Right. Today, Angelina Jordan and a song that has been highly requested uh, from July last year. It's called Love on the Brain. That's on the way next. So, Angelina Jordan, Love on the Brain, live performance uh, from Kubert Hagen, or Kerbert Hagen, uh, I think is how you pronounce it. Of course, my Norwegian is non-existent, unfortunately. Um, yeah. So, this, again, live performance. Uh, looks like it's been filmed from the audience uh, in 4K, so quality looks really good. I'm just looking around at some of the equipment on there. Uh, I, I, I always like when they use an upright bass, a double bass. Uh, it always sounds really good, doesn't it? And uh, is that a Rhodes piano? Um, it looks like it to me yeah, from here, the, the Rhodes piano. Again, classic, uh, classic piano sound, the, the Rhodes organ piano. Um, very nice. Anyway... I have no idea what this one is. Apparently it's meant to be extremely good. So, shall we just jump straight in? I think we're in for a treat. Well, we know we're in for a treat. And uh, like you can see, uh, she was 16 when this one. Yes, she's uh, not 17 yet, is she? Uh, where are we? Hang on. We're uh, April 2023. Has she turned 17 yet? Um, I th she's getting close, isn't she? I love you guys. I truly love you guys so, so much. nearly trip over her mic stand then <laughs> oh dearie me anyway wow it's like there's two different people on stage isn't it if you take her normal speaking voice uh, she sounds very much like a normal teenager of course you've got to remember that uh, english isn't her natural language uh, she is norwegian but of course she's been speaking english for well she's 16 in this video she's been speaking english what since she was about four five something like that um yeah four five six it's a long time and then when she starts singing it's just like another voice takes over it's like she steps back in time we've said this before you've got an ageless voice um yeah a voice beyond her years people say but i'm loving this the, the sound is really good uh great it must have been amazing to be there actually see this in person I know uh, we've mentioned this before on a few videos. Uh, if you're lucky enough to see her live, uh, just the the confidence she's got at this particular age, and the fact that she's also conducting the band as well. She's in full control of the band. They're not leading her. She's leading them. Uh, they are all watching what she's doing, uh, which, uh, as a, a vocalist, is incredibly good a uh, good thing to do if you're you're actually leading the the band or the orchestra that you've got around you on stage uh, rather than you just trying to play catch up and uh, trying to keep up with them i'm loving this song 
absolutely loving it. It's like I say, I, I don't know it, uh, so it's completely new to me. She's always a good way for reactions, isn't it? So you just don't want to interrupt, do you? But we have to, unfortunately. And I know uh, most reactors uh, will get comments sometime or other saying that we stop too much, we talk too much. That's what we have to do, unfortunately. Uh, it, it would be lovely if we could just sit here and watch the song all the way through and then talk at the end. But due to things like copyright and uh, strikes and everything like that, uh, we have to, unfortunately, keep doing it this way. If you do want to watch the entire video on its own, then the link is in the description. Of course, uh, you're more than welcome to do that. I'm loving the whoever the, the sound engineer is at this event. They know what they're doing because you can hear everything so clearly. I mean, nothing's muddied. Nothing's getting lost in the mix as we call it. The bass is just incredibly smooth. That is so good. I mean, it's very difficult uh, to mic up a double bass uh, because, uh, well, it, it just is. It's a lot easier to do it, uh, to do uh, a traditional bass guitar, of course, electric bass, but uh, to mic up a double bass and, uh, yeah, incredibly good. Loving this. Yeah. Should we just finish this off? So we've got just over a minute to go. is good yeah now if, if you notice right at the end I, I know I was uh, forewarned about that I was saying they were told that there might be a few 
surprises in there right at the end. And the air, when, when she's, I think she's experimenting more with her head voice and into the, the falsetto ranges. A uh, bit of whistle tone, and she doesn't always do it. Uh, she's done it a few times uh, when she was a lot younger. Um, yeah, Unchained Melody was one that uh, keeps coming up. Uh, she was about nine when she did that one. But um, if you notice, uh, when she tries to go, well, not tries, but when she d goes into her head voice, she's always looking around at the, the band saying, yep, I've hit it, I've got it. It's like, I'm going to try it now. Going to see how it comes out. It may not always come out perfectly. When you've got to remember, she's still only 16, 17. Uh, well, 16 when this was uh, recorded. So she is still getting used to her voice. And, of course, it all changes as she gets older, as he's experimenting with uh, different notes, different ranges, different runs, different ways to do things. It's lovely to see that development, isn't it? Right. If you enjoyed that as much as I did, remember you can like, comment and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.